fighting each other. She gets in shield while you're while they're fighting. My history, because I don't think you can survive when the juggernaut dies if you don't have. What the, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh, I pressed tilde instead of what it actually is. Yeah, you need like. Um 1.5 shields, it says. Well, it killed me anyway, so. I had two sh I had two full shields, so that's a fucking lie. I think distance is a factor. So what I'm going to do here... Oops. I can't fucking see anything. Like, you can't see what that says from here. So. Ammo nation. Fuck it. Maximum power. You can get way more shotgun shells with this command than you can with puff. Weird. Yeah. They're just looks like the up. same. It's eighty. What are you talking about? It's 190. 200 shots. Why are there? Oh, there's two, two. There's two listings for shotgun shells. That's weird. I was always looking at the bottom. I wonder why that is. No. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Half my health lava. Am I wrong? Cause I wanna get it on till I die. Get it on till I die. Get it on till I die. Y'all remember me? <laughs> I like the way you die, boy. Oh God. <laughs> Fuck. That went about as well as it went for Django. <laughs> Healed it. Healed it in a hot box. <laughs> He blows explosion. up too big to kill me. It's, it's super annoying. It looked like, like not enough space to do this fight, basically. Yeah. The guide says to just like run around them in circles. I mean, it's hard to do that when there's lava triangles that you have to watch for. To get them to fight, basically. <laughs> we got number 54. Yeah. Oh, don't. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of That these. was ideal. Yeah. Yeah, I think the I think either of those raises a platform right there. Hey! <laughs> Boom. Bitch. <laughs> the four invasion of Saul has been recalled. And now for Earth. And for, oh my god. I'm, my eyes are doing that thing. The four invasion of Saul has been recalled. And na for now, Earth is safe. But man's respite from war means another cataclysmic battle from this, for this fit. The slavers have not suffered a defeat like the one we handed them today. 
since the knock, <laughs> the last extant client race of the Yaro rebelled 6,000 years ago. Nick knock. The four have a weapon they save for slave revolts, a weapon which they, even they hesitate to use in the ordinary conduct of war. In the language of the Yaro who conceived and built the device, it is called the Trizim. A fair English translation would be Early Nova. There is not a single knock alive today, and if you look for their stars, you will only find ever-expanding clouds of superheated gas and dust light years in diameter. Dust light years in diameter. The evacuation of Laon has already begun. In a matter of hours, this planet will be a thin shell of plasma riding the shockwave of its exploding star. You can stay behind to work on your tan if you'd like, but I'm leaving. I have rechristened the Kfiva the Rosinanti. <laughs> of course, the Svit wanted to name it Clea Narl, Vengeance of Clea. Whatever. <laughs> there is much to do in the next few months, and our first stop will be another ruined world, this time far from the galactic core. There is a rogue star that has been passing through our galaxy for nearly a millennia. We will meet it at one of the great voids between the spiral arms. The default Photoshop lens flare. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's how you beat Marathon 2, like, professionals. <laughs> it was 10,000 years before fate brought Durando once again into contact <laughs> with man. The four were but a dim memory then, known only to a few historians and students of Earth's second colonial period. The Sfit had been nearly forgotten as well, and no man had seen a living specimen of their race since the sacking of the four system in the combined, by the combined fleets of Earth and the Svitker in 20, 2881 AD. When Durandal returned to Saul, it was not with the captured Kfiva, but in a Yarrow dreadnought he called Manus Solaire Day. What he learned of the Yarrow he told no one, saying only that he had stopped by to assure that Earth did not forget him, nor will it soon, the way he tied the guard in knots around Pluto before folding directly into low Earth orbit. While Tau Ceti was being nuked down to bedrock in 2794, four scientists disassembled and removed the AI Leela from the Marathon, loading her aboard a vessel bound for the Four homeworld, but the ship fell into the hands of a Nar privateer between jumps at Beta Naxos and was never seen by the Four again. Thinking the cargo little more than scrap, the Nar captain sold the Four ship, Leela and all, to a Vile merchant. The subsequent crash of the Vile FTL network when Leela was reassembled and reactivated is still legendary in the annals of rampancy, and the Vile have long since accepted that they will never expunge her from, the from their 15 world network. <laughs> so she went rampant too. Despite having lost Leela, the Four learned much from Tycho during the 17 years before he was destroyed by Durandal in the Laon system. All late Model 4 personality constructs were based on the 64 billion exobyte images of Tycho's core. Taken during the years, he was on the Four homeworld between 2795 and 2801 AD. Though never as intelligent or useful as one of the Marathon's original three AIs, these machines helped the Four delay their inevitable de defeat by the Spit for over 50 years. Many of the crippled clones of Tycho still exist today on old Four Colony Worlds. Robert Blake and his men escaped the destruction of Laon and the captured Four refueling ship Hafarl and returned to Earth. None of them ever questioned who had killed the crew before they boarded the vessel. They were the only human survivors of the original Tau Ceti <laughs> colony. I love this ending. 10,000 years later. <laughs> 10,000 years later? Like... Durandal wasn't seen for 10,000 years? Or was it a thousand years? Mm. <laughs> no, it was here. So there's something that I want to look at there. Shit, there's not a. I bet I could. You know what's funny? You know what's a funny thing you could do here at the end? You do this. Yeah, there we go. I just needed to be up there long enough for me to. Isn't that Leela stuff, like, in Infinity or something? Like, isn't there something similar to that? Uh... Traxus. We're taking over a... Traxus. It, you learn about that in Marathon 1. Traxus did that. Yeah. Did the same thing that she did, but to, like, Earth or something. It's like on Mars. <laughs> That's what you could do. <laughs> All right. Cool. I wanted to look at a couple things. So you should look up. Because you got your phone in your hands and I'm pinned to the damn couch. 
uh, what the name of what the name he gave the ship means. And then I also want to. It was ten thousand years. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Ten thousand years later, later <laughs> Randall shows up again, mm-hmm. and man is still doing stuff. Mm-hmm. They have the guard. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's like it's like destiny or something at yeah. that point. You know, yeah, like destiny shit's going on. Uh, what, what if it was Guardians? Manus Salur Day. Oh yeah. It's funny, they were clearly like not intending on making a marathon three, like based on this. You know, they were yeah. just like and then and then here's the rest of the story. Quick hands of God. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. Marathon. <laughs> All right. Swift hand of God. That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a Manus Solaire Day jump ship in uh, Destiny. Of course there is. It's an exotic. <laughs> yeah. Does its description say something about Durandal or something? Uh, let's see. It says non facite nobis calcitrare vestrum perineum. <laughs> Look that up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a marathon joke. All right. Well, uh, marathon two is cool. Yeah, that, that was, was neat. Game. Uh, next time we'll probably play some one shots or whatever for a little bit, and then we'll play Marathon Infinity a little bit after that. So yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, man. See you, dudes. Later. Maybe we'll tell you what that means next time. <laughs> <laughs> look, look it up. I'm not. I'm not stopping it until you look <laughs> it up, bitch. <laughs> uh, We're on the look up train. Can't stop the look up train. Someone is pretty sure it means don't make us kick your ass. Ah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the uh, that's their motto. motto. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make us kick your ass. I that's like that that right there, the Cookie Monster uh like paint, you know, like African dudes painting and the and that Bungie's <laughs> motto are contenders for funniest thing yeah. to me. <laughs> like la- a Latin motto that means don't make us kick your ass. <laughs> Oh man, Bungie. that's that's way better than most colleges' Latin mottos. Yeah. What if your college's Latin motto was "Don't make us kick your <laughs> ass"? Bungie is super funny, and they have a dope like set of. I mean, basically they have a basically Jason have a Jones and Alex Europeans like like classics stuff. Yeah. That they I like their deal. Stuff. Yeah. I just don't like that it's an MMO now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta we gotta play the new stuff. At some yeah. point. Play through that. Maybe we'll record it. Yeah. Maybe. Do a little Let's Play Destiny. Per chore. Like some super casuals play some Destiny. <laughs> we're like retired. We're like fat Destiny dudes. We like show up. We haven't been we haven't been going to the Guardian gym for a while. We play the story missions. We were like we were like, you know, we were hot shit in year two. <laughs> we were like max level year two dudes, but <laughs> now it's year twelve or whatever. All right. See you guys. Later, dudes. Bye. (laughs) Uh. Bop. Beep boop.